Exciting to see some Shinra action in the Shadow League. Okay, so we've got Yukihi banned away from Generic and from Air has been banned to Koyo, so we will see Shinra. It'll be interesting to see if Yurina's short range can stave off Ryra. But with Yurina there, it'll of course be harder to beat that firepower when you've only got one short range character versus there too. So then does Air try and keep his range and just keep close ranged on Yukihi? We shall find out. Hi, uh, I'm talking through Tabletop Simulator. Would you mind moving your umbrella closer up towards the middle of the board so I can see it on the stream, please? Thank you. Have a good game.
the classic sophism opener on the way in. It almost feels bad that you have to take it, but generic just has to get close here. It's one of the few reasons you'd play Vivacity face up, because then you get to ground it. Uh, keeping the distance this round with hidden power and then the three one with hidden needles just keeping it nice and far <clears throat> and although generic has no aura here th there's not going to be much punish in the following turn <clears throat> Generic likely just to run at his opponent again and fill up his aura. So you can see here that um, Generic has taken Spirit of Fire. Controversially considered to be not very good in pr practically every situation. Once you're down to three life, do you really want to spend your entire turn playing one enchantment that doesn't help you right now just to get plus one plus one on your other cards you don't really have the survivability tools to help you survive that following turn <clears throat>
that early Thunder game easily telegraphing the fact that their opponent has brought <clears throat> Thunder Call Ritual. <clears throat> oh Although they didn't take generic, didn't take roll, so there's no good, not going to be any doubling of that gauge. Air did take Shake the Mind, so now he's on to Flare, considering what card he may want to ban. Could see Claw of Regrowth here restoring Brandish. Oh, that's going to make you think that Shinra will um, seal away Claw of Regrowth immediately after seeing it. Over Ore is an interesting pick here. Usually, Unguarded is hard to pull off, um, but if you are clinching against Shinra, there's not much they can do to deal life to you. However, if Air's Yuki he has their umbrella open, just a single pierce will get rid of that. So you're either in pierce range or in sophism range. Okay, there's Shake the Mind. Uh, banning away Vivacity makes sense. Prevents the reactions normal. Interesting to see it here with the open umbrella. You'd like to think that he'd want to close it to allow the reaction to increase the range, considering the matchup. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Uh, so Generic didn't draw Wind Run here, which is a shame. That early Ukafune Serene really hampering his ability to advance at the moment. <clears throat> Again, Spirit of Fire and Overall both there. If he could close within range, that open umbrella is probably scaring him off. Like you can't play Overall and not just take a life damage from Yukihi at short range. Generic doesn't know that Air hasn't brought Swing Pierce. Ah, he has closed his umbrella. Okay, that changes that. <clears throat> so a lot of resources to focus and advance here. Yeah, it's painful. Um, neither. Yurina's final blow, North Tsukikage Crush, was taken by Generic. Just got Thundercore Ritual, Ukifuni Serene, and Uranami Storm. So, trying to play the surviving game. But that means that all this extra flare that they're owning is going to go to waste. Hmm. <clears throat> ah. It's a shame for Air that he discarded Sophism last turn. Although the range on over all here is only 1 to 4, so it's quite easy for him to step back and make it miss. Air is doing a good job here of making sure he doesn't attack his opponent to Aura, allowing him to advance quicker. Surely the move here is just to go back. If you play Hidden Power to increase the range, there's nothing from if your opponent doesn't take it to Shadow to Aura, then there's nothing to increase the distance. And if you do take it or they do take it to Aura, then that's one more they can advance next turn to just undo your work. So it's probably worth just keeping it on here and passing right now. Air, of course, the remaining two specials were Swaying Flame and Gentle Snow. Gentle Snow has not been played yet. Overall is only range 1 to 4 so it's going to miss as it is anyway with just that one vigor for the back step. Yeah, another reshuffle coming in from Generic. He didn't see Wind run that turn at all. Really hoping to see it now. Generic knows exactly what he's doing, just throwing cards out left, right. Very impatient, wanting to attack. Nice and aggressive. The complete polar opposite of the slow, composed Shinra player. So. 
Uh, generic has Uranami Storm and Thundercall Ritual. Yes. This is a Spirit of Fire Raw Thundercall deck. Yeah, it can. Providing that you can survive that remaining three life at the end. Shinra sealed away Vivacity. Um, so the combo still remains because uh, Shinra hasn't seen the other cards. <clears throat> Except um, they didn't take Raw, so the ability to double Thunder Gauge is not here. However, saying that, it's already up to seven. Yeah, um, so this Shinra player has only brought the one enhancement, the Eloquence. Uh, of course, being very easy to pull off Shadow Tokens after your opponent's enha enhancements run out every turn. Uh, and not spending your Flare could be a good way of keeping that away from them. I they feel like the Shinra player using Eloquence can get their two Vigor each time, use that to recover. <coughs> So Air missed the window there to react to the early 3-1 uh, slash, uh, and then taking Brandish instead, which they couldn't react to. thing is, this is something I see quite often with uh, Shinra, is if you know that you have your reaction um, agitate that lets you change your plan on your opponent's turn, you can just go divine every single time, and then when your opponent attacks you and goes down to that one card, especially against an aggressive deck like Generic's got, you know that you can use that reaction and then change it to Devious once you know your opponent's down to one card. I feel like just setting it to Devious straight up is more likely to go wrong. Because now, if if it doesn't if he doesn't get attacked next turn and that eloquence goes off as Devious, it will go into his played pile. Um, but then at least he's immediately reshuffling, so he'll be able to get it back. So it's not the worst timing to do that here. Yeah, playing Divine for the entire game uh, on Eloquence is just super efficient for the Vigor gains. It does make it harder to go through your deck quicker, like you, one of those cards you're drawing every turn is going to be redrawing Eloquence, but then that's a double-edged sword, because on the plus side you are out not taking as much life from reshuffling, but on the negative side, you're not getting through your deck faster to find those arguably better cards that could help you out in other ways, like Sophistry or Argue. I guess considering the range, like if Air thinks he's going to end this turn at range 3, he's almost certainly going to be attacked multiple times. Um, Because the thing with Spirit of Fire is you can pre-play it before you get down to four life, right? You can pre-play it, and then, like, at the moment, 
generics on four life. So he could play Spirit of Fire right now. And then on his following turn, he could reshuffle, if, if, even if he doesn't get attacked, to get it to go down to three. Because <sighs> it'll inc um, Roar will increase the... Um, be increased by damage. Yeah, here we go. Um, it will increase the damage by one for every attack in the chain. He's currently got on seven. So... That's only going to be three attacks as it stands. However, he can ground that card and get up to eight. So four attacks at two two. It's not going to be enough, I don't think. The um, the thunder call. It's just not going to be. Uh, yeah, there's no in further totality from here. But yes, if there was, it would be absolutely ruinous. The only non-Urena attack normal card that generic has is claw of regrowth so at least that can get the benefit if he re if generic takes any damage this turn but i don't feel it's going to happen and i don't think you pay a life just to reshuffle just to play claw of regrowth and four two two attacks is not going to be anywhere near fatal unless of course uh air doesn't do any recovering Generic still got Uranami Storm in the back pocket to give him a bit of time. If uh, he does get attacked this turn with uh, Argue, he could play it just to diminish his opponent's aura for the following Thundercall. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, Thundercall being six costs. Okay, that's too much. I mean, ideally for generic here is he wants to have um, sophistry played against him because then air isn't recovering and generic takes that life. He can pay the life to reshuffle and then he can play Thundercall, uh, which I think would be lethal because he can't react to do uh, to stop the attack with argue because it's not three uh, aura damage. He can't dodge out of the way. Air should see that if he plays Sophistry, he's going to be enabling Spirit Fire. Yeah, just he has been very slow and deliberate this game throughout. As a as a good Shinra player is, you know, thinking about all the possibilities. Air has got Swaying Flame, so at four flare, he's probably considering that. He has got Chain Wheel in his hand and an open umbrella. Ah, here we go. Okay, so this may not come out quite well. If Generic reacts here, he'll get another Thunderbolt. He can still react to it, even though it doesn't do anything if you react with the Renari Storm. Uh, nope. <laughs> Keep giving you away your plan, but it doesn't matter. A Sophism is a throughout attack. <clears throat> yeah, Generic knows the game plan. He grounded it. Immediately. Mm -hmm. The verdict in the spectator halls is death. Can't argue or sophistry your way out of this one. Uh, he realizes it. 